Hey everyone, it's Amanda with today's Ask Question. And today's question is, would you do an independent surrogacy journey again? Honestly, probably not. Now that I work for an agency, I can see all the things that they do above and beyond. And especially not knowing myself what they do and help you through the process. So not to mention being a buffer or a sounding board to be there to support you through issues for both sides, not only for the intended parents, but also as the surrogate. So there were mistakes that were made in my independent match and basically because we just didn't know any better and we didn't have an agency there or someone to support us. We were kind of following blindly on some recommendations. So the few things that I would say, if you are going to do an independent match, you need legal counsel. Both of you need legal counsel, the intended parents and the gestational carrier and the gestational carrier's lawyer should be in the state that they live in, should be an art licensed attorney in the state that they live in. You need to have an escrow account, that neutral third party, excuse me, to handle all of those money issues is super important. You need to be aware of state laws, which is also why it's important to have a lawyer for the gestational carrier in her state so that they know the laws about parentage and insurance and all of those fun things. And hopefully that lawyer can also help you through insurance, but you also need to be aware of the gestational carrier's insurance. You need to have it reviewed. You need to know if that insurance company will cover the surrogate pregnancy from OB care through birth. Those are just a few, few things that I think are super important, whether you're going through an agency who will help you through the process, but especially as an intended match, they are super important and things that should not be waived or compromised on. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you. We'll talk to you next week.